Hi, it's Elliot. I am really happy and I'm really thankful for your for all your support. Um, that really goes to my heart, straight to my heart. Uh, and I really look forward to meet you at the pre-shows and also in Tel Aviv. So Elliot, uh, we're here today at the Sony Studios in Brussels. Um, the the um, presentation of your song is now two weeks ago. What were the reactions? What did people say about the song and about the video? Mm -hmm. um, well, I was very happy about the, um, the reaction in the comments. Um, I feel supported and I think it's really important for an artist. Very good. Um, could you explain, like the song has very deep meaning, could you explain what Wake Up is about? Mm -hmm. um, the, the song, uh, so the world is, uh, has fall, fallen asleep, sorry. Um, and we have to be there to, to, to make things move. So the, the young generation we need to, to, to move things. Uh, and we need to wake up the world, so the title is Wake Up. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the, the profound sense. Are you talking then about things like climate or other things? Oh, it's funny because we got caught up by uh, by actuality. So uh, we we wrote the um, the lyrics before all this story about the the climate. So it's funny, uh, but it's a really good coincidence. There are a lot of protest marches now in Belgium regarding the climate. I think the biggest one was 35,000 people in mm. Brussels. So it's that what you're referring to, eh? Uh, we, that's not what we're referring to like uh, from the beginning, but with Pierre, we wanted something more global and more general mm. than just only the climate. We, we, we want a song um, to talk about something very more general than the climate. But okay. the climate can be eaten too. Okay, and what other things do you wish for the future, for the new generation? Uh, so the song is really about um, uh, make people ask questions to themselves. So um, we don't want to tell people like, do that or do that. We just want to people to, to ask uh, themselves some questions. So um, it could be the climate, but we want something real more a uh, wild world. You want to wake up the new generation, the old generation, and just make a better world. Mm -hmm. okay. that's, that's the goal. How does the video relate to that? Because we've we've been watching the video and we've seen a couple of things, like at a certain point, um, the walls come down and you see a lot of people. Are you fighting for everyone? Is that what it means? Uh, that, yeah, um, the clip was not really a, a narrative one, it's more like about the, 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 the atmosphere and the, the visual effects. Uh, but the world, the, the world, the, the walls, sorry, when they fall, it's, um, it's more something about like, together we break everything, so we also break the walls. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you're actually saying, we're going to break down the old things and the old rules and, and, and whatever is, is, is already here and we're going to create a new world. Um, not really create a, a, a new world, but make the, the, the actual world a, a better place. Okay. You're going to save us all, huh? <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's hope yeah. so. Um, how would you fight as a person? Because you, you, you're using your music now. Uh, to to make a statement, but how you as a person uh, fighting for love, fighting for a relative? Okay, um, and music I think is a really strong way to to express yourself and to fight. Mm -hmm. um, but how do I fight in a personal way? Well, I think the the music is something personal. Uh, but when when some when someone or something really matter to me, I, I do everything I can to, uh, to, to make it better. I think if I look at your age, you're really young at the moment. Uh, you're going to have uh, a tremendous um, a challenge coming from uh, going to Eurovision. Um, how, did, you, did you 
age really young because you're already so mature you're already saying like you know i want to change the world in mm -hmm. something how did that happen um i think that's just me <laughs> <laughs> but uh i i thought it was important to have young people singing this with this song because um it's about the young generation so my generation it's in it's important to to have a, a young guy who who say those things okay to wake us all up eh? yeah. <laughs> um did the video we had the video presentation as well uh, two weeks ago did the video already say something about staging i asked you last time and you were being a little bit mysterious man about it can you sure. tell anything uh okay i can tell you something uh more than what I said uh, last time. We don't want to have a stage uh, in the same atmosphere as the video. We okay. want to have something more um, hope, more, more hope in, in our stage. So really something less dark, less something, less, sorry, but it's less dark uh, than, uh, than the video. Okay, so it's going to be something totally different then. Um, uh, maybe, yeah. Okay. How, how does that go down? Because you have a creative team working on that, but are you also in the driver's seat making decisions? Can you decide the staging on your own? Um, yes. Uh, uh, they, Sony and, and the RTBF really cares about what I want to. So it's really cool and really important. Um, but it's it's true that I'm kind of new in the in the in this all this stuff. So I I listen to to advices. It's really important. But I I also have a word to say in in this uh, structure. Okay, so it's really a team thing where you also get your say. The RTBF, yeah. Sony Music, uh, everyone. Yeah. Okay, um, we did a reaction video on Wake Up. You've watched it. You shared it on your Facebook page. Thank you for that. At one point, uh, Deben said, um, "If he can do this when he's uh, in his teens, uh, yeah, what I can remember. he do when he's forty? And that's actually a good question. Um, you. You're at the start of your career. What What are your hopes and dreams for the future in in terms of music? Do you want to become a big star, music uh, singer songwriter?" Mm -mm. Um, for for now on, I just focus on Eurovision. But I really want to to have a career after. That's my dream. Uh, to live uh, with music. That's my dream. Was that always your dream when you were little? Uh, I think it was always like a, a wish. But this this wish like concretized when I did the voice. Mm -hmm. And now with Eurovision, it's more and more uh, a big dream. Okay, okay. Um, you'll be heading to a couple of Eurovision pre-parties. Uh, mm -hmm. People can see you, I think, in London, uh, Madrid and Amsterdam. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that? I am looking forward, but I'm looking forward to sing and also to meet people. Um, human contact is really important to me. So I really want to meet uh, Eurovision fans and on. I really want to meet them. You've told me last time that we spoke um, that you're kind of new to the Eurovision context. Have you got more information now? Do you already know more? <laughs> um, so it's true that I wasn't really... Um, uh, in my childhood, I wasn't really um, drowned into Eurovision uh, things because my parents didn't watch uh, Eurovision. Uh, it's a shame because I think in, in Wallonia, People don't really watch Eurovision. That's a really strange thing, yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, for people who don't know that, um, it's actually much more popular in Flanders mm -hmm. than it is in Wallonia. And the funny thing is that Wallonia is coming up really great <laughs> entrances. True. So how, how do you think that happens? Why doesn't it become more popular in Wallonia? I, uh, I really don't know, because... Um, but I think it's it's gaining power uh, since Leuk mm -hmm. Uh It's, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really know. Mm, one of the mysteries of life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, in 
um, the time that you'll be going to Eurovision, you'll be having a team around you. Who is joining you on the journey? Uh, first of all, and the most important, I think my parents okay. they will go with me. Uh, it's really important to me that they are here. Um, because it happens like once in a lifetime, so it's they need to be there. Um, then the the whole RTBF and Sony team too. Not the whole, but uh, of course they they will come. Um, the head of press also, Pierre Dumoulin, uh, my manager. Is that comforting for you that Pierre will be there as well? Yeah, because we wrote we wrote it together, and uh, it's important for for him, mm -hmm. for me, for for me, that he is there. Okay. Also, other relatives? Do you have brothers, sisters? No, I don't have an only. Ah, oh, you're only an only child. child. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if you would name one reason why people should vote for you uh, in Tel Aviv. <laughs> uh, wow, tough question. Tough question, huh? Uh, because the song is about something that is actual. Maybe that could be like a good point for people to vote. And maybe I'm uh, sympathetic too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I'm, I definitely think, I definitely think oh, uh, you. you win the sympathy vote. Okay, that will be all for now. Thank you very much. Thank good you. luck. Uh, also, uh, have fun and the Eurovision pre-parties. Uh, and very much good luck in uh, Tel Aviv. Thank you very much. Thank you.